He's not a goalie. He's a pass rusher. A he can do a lot of things athletically, and he's going to try to do that for Kansas City. What do you think of the selection, Ryan Wilson? I know that this was a guy that we've talked about a few times on air going up, and he said, you know, he's a, this is somebody you want to make sure that somebody else doesn't get him in your division. No, that's right. And and Pete and I have differed on Karloftis. I, I think that he is a stronger version of A.J. Epinesa for me. He's not twitchy, as we talked about earlier today, but he is incredibly consistent. He uses his hands well. He had an incredible season in 2019, injured 2020, wasn't quite as effective this year. But, again, you get Trent McDuffie, and then you circle back and get George Karlottis in that division against those offenses. Those are checking boxes. It's yeah. not like you don't have Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid on the offensive side. So I get it. I've talked to teams that like him more closer to the bottom of the first round as a, instead of a top 10 pick, which he had heard. That's where he went. It makes all the sense in the world. He, he reminds me a lot of Trey Hendrickson That's from another Cincinnati. Good one. That's right. You saw what he was able to do with Cincinnati and how he improved that front. This is a guy that plays with maximum effort. And this was a positional need for Kansas City. It, it seems like Melvin Ingram will not return. Remember, they tried to experiment, experiment with uh, Chris Jones and move him out as a defense alignment. That didn't work out. So now you can push Chris Jones back inside and pair him up with Frank Clark. We talk about division, right? You're going to have to get after the quarterback. You got Russell Wilson. You got Justin Herbert. You got Derek Carr. Three very different types of quarterbacks, but all successful in their own way yep. and all throwing the ball around. Devontae Adams down that division. You can't give him time to throw the ball to him, and so this may be one of those guys that tries to put some pressure on the quarterback. Pete? They drafted with an eye on the rest of the division. Yes. That's what they did, and, and they needed a corner. They got a corner. They needed help a pass rush. They got to help a pass rush. You know, we talk about comparisons. A little Max Crosby in him, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, this They're is motor. a guy. And remember, Frank Clark has been a little bit of a disappointment for them. He didn't play as well. They moved Chris Jones out. Then they moved him back inside. Yeah. Melvin Ingram played. They need pass rush help. Love this pick. This is one of my favorite What picks. we give the two two grades for the Chiefs overall? For the two? I gave, oh, for the overall? Yeah. I give him a B plus. I like it. Yeah. yeah, and this is a kid that when you saw him being interviewed after, he, he has what I like to call resting football face. Yeah, he's ready. Like when he's just standing there waiting for the question, he looks like he's ready to tackle somebody. Like, that's like what I want, my pass edge rusher. That's the expression that I'm looking he for. He looked like a long-lost Watt brother. He's red, and they've been all right. They've they've been been all right. So they've we'll see how right. it works out there. But George Karloftis goes to Kansas City, and he is ready to roll with the Chiefs, who are hopeful to get back to the Super Bowl. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.